goes wrong. But Redmond collects the ball, passes it into the middle, and it is Berahino scoring the goal in the 19th minute. It's the winner for Crystal Palace, and we do get the first trophy in this career mode. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Chani Sports, and welcome to the Crystal Palace career mode. As you guys know, we have some insanely important matches in this one, and if we can smash 800 likes, I will be uploading another Crystal Palace episode today. Yes, we have a Crystal Palace marathon right here until the end of the season. You can see us sitting in third place, 27 games played, 52 points gained, and Manchester United is only one point below us so this game is a do or die game we have to win against Manchester United in this away game or at least get a draw out of this one so let's get it started right away this is the starting lineup of Manchester United you can see Van Persie, Rooney, Di Maria, Herrera some insane players in this one so hopefully we'll be able to get past them Victor Valdez in goal and he is obviously not the best goalkeeper so we could go ahead and score a goal against them. I don't even know where De Gea is, but you can see my starting lineup, Berahino and Paulsen, will try their best to get past Valdez, but we will start it off with Manchester United on the attack. Van Persie with his weak foot, but Speroni gets to it. As always, Speroni always taking care of his team and especially always going after the clean sheet in these matches. But Victor Valdez also made his first save in the 22nd minute. Rooney now with the pass over to Van Persie he's through once again this time with a pass over to Di Maria who then isn't able to score luckily for us it was a really big chance for them but Paulsen also trying to score a header right here but obviously that one wasn't as dangerous as the one from Di Maria was but Speroni once again with a safe right here and we are now in the second half Zaha gets the ball in the penalty area the former Manchester United player pass it over to Paulsen who then takes the shot right onto the post so we were really unlucky right there 68th minute Nathan Redmond with the cross inside but it gets past Paulsen and also Victor Valdez gets a touch on it but it is the big chance for Rooney right here I believe or it was James Wilson in fact who had the chance right there but Speroni with another great save now it's Fellaini 1-1 on -one against Speroni and what a save again from the goalkeeper legend but this game wasn't over yet 90th minute it is Smalling on the ball passing it over to Wilson a shot coming up from the outside of the box but Speroni once again very cautious and he gets to it so this game will be ending nil nil thanks to Speroni his amazing saves but we could have scored one goal in this one sadly Paulsen did hit the post but Speroni gets a 9.7 rating and that is well deserved he should have gotten a 10 point nil in my opinion but boys, we are getting our first scout report in right here. We have two players at the top, Yardim and Parela, who look inter interesting for our team. And uh, we will wait until the 1st of May to then see if one of these guys will be upgraded and then get one of those into our team, hopefully. But guys, we now have to concentrate on this match against Bayer Leverkusen, my former club. And it is this team, this starting lineup, fighting against them right here you can see Gale and Paulsen in the striking position Berahino wasn't fit Zaha isn't fit as well so Bolassi is playing on the left hand side Paulsen with the first chance very typical for us Redmond with the cross Paulsen with the header but Engels our best center back in the team is getting injured he will be gone for a long time so that is a big hit onto our team but boys, no worries, I got this. We are on the defense right here. Belarabi with the cross inside and it will be a header going over the crossbar. And now it's another attack coming in for Bayer Kuzin. Right after that header, it is a corner for them. And this shot will go over the crossbar as well. So we are getting pretty lucky right here, making some changes for the team because we definitely need some fresh legs in this one. 77th minute that was. And we are now with Berahino passing it over to Bolasi. Bolasi with the cross and it is Dwight Gale. Could have scored a header right here, but it's a very close one. Just going past the post. Berahino now passes it to Dwight Gale. Dwight Gale is through. He could score right here, but his shot goes wide. What a big opportunity for Crystal Palace to get at least one goal. 
And in order to do that, Berahino has to step up right here with an amazing pass. And Ozan Tufan will score 84th minute. The young talent scores the goal. And we are going 1-0 in front of Bayer Leverkusen. And what a goal that is. That is a really important one. 87th minute, a cross coming in. And it's offside. Yes, guys. No worries. We are still getting the win in this match. 90th minute. Uh, late drama right there with Kiesling scoring the header. But we are going through with the win. And it is 1-0. So that was a really important result to have the clean sheet. And Bjorn Engels is gone for eight weeks. That is horrible. He is the best center back in my team. And I'm really sad to see him go. He will probably miss a lot of important matches. I don't even think he will be back until the end of the season. But in the FA Cup, we have to play against Bournemouth. And I was thinking, mate, we are definitely not playing this game. I don't even think that they are in the BPL. So I thought, let's go ahead and sim this one. Redmond scoring the winner for our team. It was closer than I thought in the end. But we are moving forward into this EuroLeague game against Bayer Leverkusen once again. You guys saw that in the last match. They were able to get a goal in, but thankfully that wasn't offside. But in this one, Kiesling, Son, Chalanolu and Belarabi will definitely try to score an early goal in order to get back into this one. But it is now Paulsen over with the pass and it is Dry Gale now with the shot. It gets deflected. It's another shot. It gets deflected and then it's Paulsen scoring the goal for his team in the fifth minute already. What a start into this game. And this definitely is breaking the neck of Bayer Leverkusen. That's what I thought, but it seemed like this only motivated them and that was a big chance wasted right there from Son, I believe. Now it's a cross coming in right after that, Chalanolu getting a header. So that really shows that they are really determined to get a goal right here. But it's another chance wasted, Speroni with a great save, that shot was like right onto him. Kiesling now on the ball, passing it over, gets it back once again and then the other pass to Belarabi who then wasn't able to score right there. Luckily for us, Kiesling once again starting the attack for his team. Belarabi over to Kiesling. This time he takes the shot on his own. Luckily, once again, they are not able to score. 48th minute, it's a cross coming in right here. And it will be Kiesling this time with an amazing volley. And what a goal that is for Bayer Leverkusen. And it's 1-1 right now, so let's see if they will be able to get a 3-1 result because I think that's the only result that would get them into the next round but at this point I was also trying to counter attack because they were really moving forward and that is obviously an opportunity for my team to get another goal and we will get another counter attack chance right here in the 18th minute Pauls in against one defender surely you will get past him Pauls in now with the shot the goalkeeper saves it and then once again Leno what a save from Leno right there. It is unbelievable how well German goalkeepers do against me. 86th minute is by Leverkusen. Son hits the post and it's Trimmage scoring the goal for their team. Is this comeback really happening? Really? What the hell? No, guys. No worries. We are through to the next round of the EuroLeague. And Spironi can be happy about this one even though he couldn't clean... He couldn't keep his clean sheet, but that just shows that we can't win every game in the manner that we want to. But we are getting 400k onto our budget, which is really important because we need every single penny, guys. Hopefully we can get really far in this one and get some money in through the EuroLeague and the Barclays Premier League and then invest it in the next season. Right here you can see the schedule for the next episode. Our next opponent in the EuroLeague is Sevilla. So let's see how we will do against them in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will have another episode later on today. We are sitting in 5th place in the BPL so we can change that one in the next episode. Take care guys. Peace.